Hey guys, it's just me, Kirsten. Today I'm just going to start in with my primers using the Benefit Professional and the BH Cosmetics Eye Primer. Now we're going in with the Lorac Pro 2 palette and using the silver on my eyelid. And we're just going to be using that to put all over the lid. And then I'm going in with light brown and going into the crease. Next I'm going in with a mixture of the charcoal color and then putting a little bit of black on top of that and just deepening that outer V until I get it to where I want it to be. And now I'm just going back in and buffing all of that out just so it looks more seamless. Now I'm just wetting my brush with some spray and going in with this Alta Glitter Pigment. It's put a ring on it. Just gives a really more uh, glittery look to the silver color I put on before. Now I'm just going in and touching up those colors. Make sure we didn't lose any of it. And then I'm going in with my eyeliner brush and just going close to the lash line. And then I'm going to go in with my eyeliner pen and just create a uh, start to create a wing. Now I'm just going in and touching up with my foundation and I'm using the Fit Me foundation today, the matte one. Now I'm just going to be going in with my Maybelline eyebrow pencil in blonde and going in over with my brow tinted gel from MAC. It's their blonde one as well. And then now I'm just going to be highlighting my face. I'm not sure which concealer this is. Sorry guys. I will be better at telling you that next time. But now I'm going, and then I'm going to go in with the contour stick from NYX and using the contour color to map out where I want the contour to be. Now I'm just going to go in and blend all of the cream contour and highlight out with this brush. I'm really impressed with this brush. It's the Jabonesque foundation brush, but it worked really well for my contour and highlight today. Now I'm just going in and setting my face with a facial spray and now I'm just going to bake. I'm using the Sonia Kasha Brightening Powder. I really, really like this. And 
And now to go over the cream contour, I'm going to be taking my Hoola bronzer and just going over those areas. And now we just blend, 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 and blend some more. And now I'm just going in with that same contour brush I used and going in over the nose contour and then blending out the powder that was baking. Now I'm taking the NYX HD powder and just setting the rest of my face. Now I'm going in with the Lorac Petal blush and just going to be going on the apples of my cheeks and lightly brushing that back. Now I'm just going in with my lip balm, the Nivea Caramel one, and then I'm going to be touching up my wing eyeliner. Sorry, this was kind of out of focus. These are the best clips I could get. Now that the wing is in place, I'm going to just deepen out the outer corner with the black that's in the Lorac 2 palette. Now I'm just going in with this NYX uh, blue eyeliner pencil. I forget the name of this, but it's just going to give the blue effect on the bottom line. And then I'm going in with that charcoal gray and a little bit of the black, mixing that together just to do the outer portion of my lower lash line. Now I'm going in with the Galaxy Chick uh, BH Cosmetics and I'm going in with the color Moon to set over that blue eyeliner. Now I'm just going in with the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner and Crystal Silver just to add a little bit more sparkle onto the lower lash line. Now I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes and putting mascara to prep for the falsies. I use the KISS number no. 3 false lashes. I really, really love these. And I'm just going in with the Revlon Soft Nude and the Petal Peach Petal Lip Gloss for my lip combo. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys really like it. I really had fun with this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It really helps me out, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!